Hey everybody, I think I may have inadvertently set up another tank that self-denitrifies. This is my 40 gallon native tank and when I set it up I went out and not only collected rocks and sticks from my local stream, I went out and I collected the gravel from the stream as well and I removed i don't know the first few inches of gravel to get all uh the stuff off the surface all the the silt and the mulm and you know any broken glass or any other trash that might have been near the surface and i dug up the gravel that was much deeper down and i brought home a whole bucket full of it and put it in this tank and it does not seem like it's a particularly deep bed anywhere except maybe in that corner it gets a little bit deep but I do have a lot of flat rocks in there, and the key is not so much the depth, but it's the circulation. The reason we have deep beds or deep sand beds is because the denitrifying bacteria lives in anaerobic conditions. It lives in conditions with low or no oxygen. And so when you move down through the sand, you get to a point where the circulation is so poor, there's just, it's oxygen depleted water. It's not fresh water flowing through the sand anymore. So you can achieve that not only by depth, but you can achieve it simply by blocking the flow of water. So if you've got a tank like this, that has a very low flow of water to begin with. It's not exactly swirling around in the tank. And then you've got big flat rocks laying across the bottom that will also restrict the amount of water flow it is possible, I suppose, to set up a system where you've got this denitrifying bacteria going on in there. And the reason I'm even bringing this up, my regular viewers know I've already set up a tank specifically to attempt to do this. I set up another tank a little while ago that I think I may have inadvertently set up to be a deep sand bed tank. I just never have a buildup of nitrate in that tank. And so that brings me back to this one. I was getting ready to top the tank off. I'm going to add a little bit of water, just four or five gallons in there maybe. I want to bring the water level up a couple inches. It's getting pretty shallow. And I've been testing these nitrate test strips and comparing them to the API test kit to see, you know, just what I can find out, how accurate they are, are they easy to read, et cetera, et cetera. And the dip strip showed no nitrate, which I found to be very odd. This tank is fairly heavily stocked. I know it doesn't look like it. But I've got a increasingly larger sunfish. You can see right there in the middle of your screen right now. And I've got about a dozen to 15, maybe even 18 Gambusia still in this tank, plus two fairly large crayfish. So I know it looks like an empty tank, but it's not. It's fairly heavily stocked, and I feed it regularly. It's got very, very little in the way of growing vegetation in it. And my nitrate level in this tank should be going through the roof and yet I've got virtually no nitrate in it that's less nitrate than my tap water um, this time of year and I've been kind of getting slack on getting my water system back washed uh, I have since gotten it cleaned up so I'm now showing no nitrate in my tap water uh, but as of about a week ago I had about 10 parts per million nitrate in my tap water and that's when we set this tank up so I now have less nitrate in there than had in it when I established the tank and put the water in it. So where is that nitrate going? If it's not being denitrified by the bacteria in the tank, then I would love to know the mechanism by which this nitrate is getting out of the tank. It's certainly not because of plant growth. I think, first of all, that people put too much emphasis on how much plants remove from your tank. They're not magic. They don't just drink all the nitrate out of your aquarium. If you've got some minor plants in there and they're growing like the way these are, I mean, they're alive and they're still growing, but they're, there's no way these little few floating plants in there are drinking large quantities of nitrate out of this tank. I feed this tank every day. I feed it a big pinch of fish food and then I throw an algae wafer in there for the crayfish. Uh, I throw snails in there for the crayfish to eat. Again, this tank should have a dark red nitrate reading, and yet I've got almost none. That's less than five parts per million. That's almost not even showing a reading. Again, less now than when I put the water in the tank. You tell me where is that nitrate going 
if it's not being denitrified. If this tank is not taking care of itself, then I just simply don't know where that nitrate is going. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. We will be talking more about this later. Uh, that's all I got time for tonight. So there was your video. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you're subscribed. You can join a membership now. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Dan's Outdoors and More. You know all the good stuff. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you real soon in the next one.